for instance, if we're going to play a waltz, this is really not a waltz drum. Although the timing is there, it's not really, it probably sounds a little better like this. And the rhythm comes in with your strumming. Right, you can use all your fingers to do a calypso beat. So go on YouTube, type in ukulele tutorials in the search, and there are over 600 videos on basic strums, basic chords, basic three small three to five minute lessons that you can play over and over again and practice in your own security of your own privacy. Uh, what I would suggest though is um, <clears throat> as you're learning how to play the ukulele, pick out a song that you like to sing, because it gives you a little more incentive on uh, learning the song and actually singing along with it, so that when your friends say, hey, play something for me, you don't have to go, I don't like shoes uh, on my feet. Probably something a little better than that. Now there are four different sizes of ukuleles. The, the one you're holding right now is the smallest, called the standard soprano. Then there's one a little bigger than that, called the concert. And then this one, this size is the tenor size. So the neck is a little longer. Uh, the frets are a little bigger, so your fingers for adult fingers and, um, and larger hands like mine, it fits in a lot nicer. Uh, then there's one larger one which is called the baritone. <clears throat> now the baritone is generally tuned to the bottom four strings of the guitar, which is B, G, B. But if on a guitar you would put the capo, you know the capo is is the bar that you put across and you change the key. If you put the capo on the fifth fret of the guitar and play the bottom four strings, that's this to me here, G, C, E, A. Now as you can see, mine has eight strings. You can have ukuleles in four strings, six string, eight string, and ten string configurations. The eight string sounds really full. It sounds like there's more than one of you playing at a time. Thank you.